I'll just restart the game since I got disconnected. So make it part four, and this is episode three, Night of the Raving Dead. All right, there we go. All right, let's start the episode over. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Since I had only, only just started anyway. You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your souls will satisfy my dark masters. How did that happen? For all. <laughs> and then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world. <laughs> Damn you, Jurgen! You owe me five bucks, Sam. I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. Insolent to the last. Or maybe this is uh see how you make this They start with how it ends. Well, looks like this is it, little buddy. Just heard you have interfered and then it cut. I wondered where I'd left my wallet. I can't even remember how we got here. Come on, Max. Remember we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Ah yeah. Do the whole thing with the music and all that. Oh, all right. Yeah, right. The whole episode will be leading up to that thing that they show you at the start, I guess. Yeah, okay. Got it. <laughs> Cliché. Unicorn! Doesn't being high priest of Easter Island and president violate the separation of church and state? Blasphemy! Hey, oh, hang on. The holy water is giving me a religious vision. A goat born with an HDMI port. An unwelcome visitor. Ah, the dead walk the earth. And bells, bells, bells! Hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner? Hey, it's Jesse James. Come to reclaim his severed hand. Lightning! A dog castle! Dead! A snowy egret! No, a chicken! Do you mind not making so much noise? Speak up, Commissioner. I can't hear you. We're having a zombie attack. What's that, Commissioner? Zombie attacks? Gin running George A. Romero in a baby doll t-shirt outside the food court. Gin running George A. Romero. <laughs> on the case, the commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus-filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's attacking? They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies. Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. Meanwhile, I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. One step ahead of you. Mm-hmm. I'm in control. What's on television? <laughs> no signal! The zombies must have taken over the TV station! No, we took our only antenna. I still blame the zombies. One of those newfangled... Oh yeah, they did actually in the first season. What will they think they used the coat hanger as an antenna, but they used it for something else. What was that? What was that One he of said? Those newfangled video cassette recorders. What will they think of next? Digital video discs? Yeah, okay, yeah. Even at the time, Blu-rays were a thing. And these days, well, <laughs> physical media? <laughs> that was so yesterday. Hello, Leonard. Hey, Leonard. Why'd we save this again? To snack on! I still say hypnotic termites would have been far more effective. He may not talk as much now, but you still has all the charm of a pint of urine. <laughs> a fro. Nothing less, nothing mo. A trophy to our skills as decapitators. She's worthless without a ring. And we are goggles. That burial ground. Empty. I think I hear a tiny tumbleweed blowing by inside. Chattanooga doo doo. If reviews got reviewed, this one would get four and a half stars. Poor Dolly. It saved us in the first episode. 
This is officially the northernmost pole on Earth. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. Ooh, I can play Whack the Rats. I oh, know it's the orange ones you have to shoot. That reminds me of the shooting mini game in the game I was playing the other day. She's useless without a ring. <laughs> oh, actually, thinking of the game I was playing the other day, there was a Monica in that game. She was a bird. <laughs> and a secretary. Your waist here. You know what they say about guys with big feet? They have big thongs. Brady's a lot more appealing when you can balance drinks on his head. Okay, let's get out. It's funny considering my real name is after a bird. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> that makes it doubly Isn't funny. Cute, Max. The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Two Teeth? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. The boss is busy. Something about a Danish boss. song or something Where that you, you that that you told me about. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. The boss is busy. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what kind of bird that was. Maybe a kiwi, I think. <laughs> Something like that, I think. Hiya, cops. Do you Hi know? There. Are you tired of paying a lot for your internet service? What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S O L. So simple, even a zombie <laughs> could use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Over here at the zombie factory. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have yeah, as in the bird species. Marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. Ah, uh, we're going to Stuttgart. What do you say that for? We do not know. He has been like this ever since the accident. Max, when I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart. Right. Forgot it already. Sh Stuttgart. Stuttgart. You're selling the internet to zombies? You're selling the internet to zombies? Not just the internet, but much, much more. From trivia to music, lifestyles to death styles, and inventive new recipes for brains, Stuttgart Online is the premier online zombie destination. We just want to pimp our car. We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. Oh, right. <laughs> our resources to developing the ultimate online experience. SOL. What happened to Bluster Blaster? What happened to Bluster Blaster? There was a processing accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. We regret any inconvenience this may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. You must have an upgrade. Can you guys fix Bluster Blaster? Didn't we destroy the internet? Actually, I think we did. In first we season. Destroy the internet? Luckily, Al Gore was able to recreate the internet from his original plans. What's on the internet that would interest a droning, glassy-eyed zombie anyway? Al Gore recreated the internet in his own image. Sounds like Cartman. <laughs> What's so great about Seoul? What's so great about Stuttgart Online? Stuttgart it's Online. A fun, easy to use online experience for zombies and zombies at heart. Can you guys fix Bluster Blaster? She had me fixed before they brought me home. 
After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's our new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? <laughs> we'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. I like wearing short pants. Would you like to begin driving now? Affirmative. Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Uh, it's like a uh, paper boy. Hello and welcome to the Pimpla Car Marketing ah. Challenge. Remember that you can now drive using a computer keyboard in addition to your mouse. Yes. Please deliver the magic of SOL to the displayed number of zombies. Hit zombies, right click to shoot. And you must do it in the allotted time. Ready, go! Uh. How do I shoot? How do I shoot? <laughs> Apparently I did, but... It says one delivered, but I don't know how I did that. I like wearing short pants. Almost made me spit my tea out. I, I'm trying, but it's making my car move instead. Ah, but it's the right click. Okay, never mind. It's the right click. It's not so easy. It's not that hard, it's just that I... It took me some time to realize exactly what I was supposed to do. Yeah, of course I'd like to try again. You bet. We're just getting warmed up. Yep, exactly. That's actually right. It says right there, too. Right click to shoot. Well, even then... Six out of ten. Congratulations, you won! Yay! Well done! We've installed your new super high powered antenna. We cannot be held liable for any injury or loss of life. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winners. Not the light. I don't want to see the bright light again. Very well. You get to figure it out for yourself. I don't know what that's for, but I bet I will figure it out in well, time. It, Sam. Let's go to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Yavor! I feel so bad for him. <laughs> well, here we are in Stuttgart. Very Poor thing. You think this is the big spooky castle the locals were wailing and stammering about? Could be. Hey, look. There's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. Clove cigarettes? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. Are you sure about that, Sam? Sophistication. Clove cigarettes? That's good for your teeth. A coffin that's been opened from the inside. Wait, you mean zombies? Open grave. Get anything good, Sam? Looks like the deadbeat undertakers and opportunistic German rats got to him first. Brain's in decent shape, though. Mmm. I got a brain. Mm. Let's see. Hello. Stand aside, undead. We have to get inside. Yeah, go film a music video or something. <laughs> Typical zombies with their overinflated sense of entitlement. <laughs> I can't get in, I bet. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie fact. Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Superball! Agent Superball! He's back! <laughs> That's a movie reference. The place is being overrun with zombies. <laughs> yes, ladies' night is all... Bluchach! promotion. Superball! <laughs> Superball. Uh, and I love that movie too. It's Young Frankenstein if you've never seen the movie that this is referencing. Watch it if you get the chance. It's super funny. We're here on official freelance police business, Super Bowl. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We're at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. The master insists. I am Frau Blucher. We'll be back. Take your time. We're very crowded tonight. Whee! I can't tell if he's supposed to be barfing or asking us to tithe. Both are scary. Maybe he's supposed to be an embittered waiter spitting on our food. Even scarier. Well, check this out. Something smells good. Brains. A non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Sam and Max. Next. Well, I guess we're next. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes not allowed. Holy water taboo. You'll have to throw them away. Oh, that's too bad. Let us in. Super Bowl. <laughs> Who's in charge here? Master Jurgen, the greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president. This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. He does have a point. What is this place, anyway? The zombie factory. Master Jurgen's ancestral home. Garrison of his undead army. Best doors in all of Baden-Württemberg. Let us in. Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> you the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. Ominous. Seems to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. Do I smell new blob? <laughs> mm, you are the new DJs, I presume. We're Sam and Max. Freeland zombie hunters. Ah, oh, yes. The bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Yeah. The stars? We had our <laughs> own TV show. Show some respect. <laughs> oh, 
look at me. I'm so edgy and subversive. Only her Fezzeli is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. Certainly Emo. And this is my <laughs> army of the undead. <laughs> emo, yeah. <laughs> every soul I take, my army grows larger. Even his haircut oh, is very I emo. I did not <laughs> just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. Back, foul monster. We are here to put a stop to your evil scheme. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. Stop me. Sh stop <laughs> so me. <laughs> have tried. That is how you say played, yo. Now you must excuse me. For I am a way to dance. A way. Vampires were so fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. Hmm. Excuse us, Mr. Vampire Prince. Uh, we're here to destroy you. And everything you stand for. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> you can never destroy me without destroying the source of my power. Midtown Cowboys is big here. Yeah, for reference, this is a TV show that they had to play in, in the first season, where there were two cowboys living in Midtown, I guess, in an, apart in an apartment. And they had a cow and they had to constantly have to try to hide the cow from Mr. Featherly, who was the rooster being their landlord or something like that. It was, uh, well, kind of out there. <laughs> so, you're big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Yeah, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, you probably hide the cow. <laughs> yeah, right. The family's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. What was that? Oh, yeah, what was that? I was gonna ask that. Club hit, new location unlocked? Oh, you are so tragically unhip. You watch Midtown Cowboys? Have you just been watching the same repeat of Midtown Cowboys all this time? You're just hearing the same jokes over and over again. Yeah, but like me, her Feverly adds something new each time. That is why the zombies love us. <sighs> For you, dancing, if you can call that dancing. Try, but are you having a grand mal seizure? Get me a belt so I can put it under his tongue. <laughs> you clumsily refer to my dancing, I presume. No surprise that you do not appreciate my moves. But my people recognize me as Uberfly. Witness! You can tell he's emo when he does this this thing with his air. The, the, the gesture. That, <laughs> that is power, my American friends. Right. You call those moves? <laughs> you call that dancing? If my sciatica weren't acting up, I'd show you some real dancing. Oh, you don't know how lucky you are, Jurgen. The sight of Sam trying to dance. Oh, the horror. Your empty <laughs> threats bore me. <laughs> now, be gone, so my zombie posse and I can rock this house party to the break of dawn. Stop dancing. Just stop. <laughs> you dance like a flounder just pulled up on deck. Flounders aren't as sickly pale as this guy, though. Ja, ja, whatever. My people know who's got the moves. Jürgen does. You yeah, have a source of power? Interesting. Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans! The source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trends. A style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. Hmm, but he's not gonna say anymore. You know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kinda dated and mopey. I don't get the thrall. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army. What have you got to be down about? 
Yeah, we're at least twice as miserable as you are. <laughs> Would you like to prove it? How do we do that? Every night is open mic night at the zombie factory. You may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my thrall. How do we know you won't cheat? I never cheat. <laughs> Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. I'm sure. Hmm. Mm, maybe, maybe later. later. I'm the probably not ready for this. You have made all day. Uh, so long. We'll leave you alone. For now. Count the hours, Jürgen. Count the hours until your doom! Just sure. I seem to remember, remember there was a Resident Evil on. reference somewhere in there. Or maybe that was in a different episode? Hmm. Or maybe it's not in this location. Or what's inside the coffin? There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulchre. Her only passion, the Void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. Oh, can't look inside. Why do they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. Then we better take one. Yeah, I, actually, uh, I, I don't know if that's true. I've never been to one, but I guess it would make sense if that was true. A fireplace with no fire, no logs, and no chimney. Nothing suspicious here. Let's keep looking. Secret passage behind the bookcase. These fake books would at least try to make them look real. Okay, what it said, new location unlocked, or destination. Gotta stay hydrated while taking those, um, drugs. Pills. It's a down the pills. Like, uh, XTC or whatever it is the, the kids take these days. <laughs> Let's go to the TV studio. Let's go driving. Wahey, panda! A TV studio. Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy! Finally, you're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, take one in five, four. Hang on. Ah, oh, whatever the kids take it. these days. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> oh, fine. Take five, everyone. Just How should I know what kind of ready. drugs they do these days? You can't go that way. It breaks the illusion. Ah, uh, Mr. Featherly. Whee! Are we leaving already? Yes, actually, because I forgot something. Let's go to Stuttgart. <laughs> Let's go to Stuttgart. That was not my intention, Panda. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. We're not leaving, are we? Yes, we are. Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy! <laughs> Hello, Bessie. Still not speaking to me? I see. Uh, oh, there we go. Garlic cloth cigarettes. In the bag. Hello, Mr. Featherly. Look, Max. It's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly. Don't worry, Panda. No one's taking drugs. Featherly. At least, not here. <laughs> You're big in Germany. <laughs> Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? You just wanted to, to, to make me life? say at least not whore, right, Monica? Is that it? 
You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha. 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 Do you have any crazy fans? And at least you're not a whore. <laughs> Do you have any crazy fans? I know you didn't. I know. It's just, just kidding. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Just teasing you. Oh, Greta. Oh, she keeps sending me messages about hot and pepper. Need freelance bodyguards? You're not Philo Pennyworth? I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. Some actor you are. What happened to your love of the theater? Hmm, let me see. I could play Torvald in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year and still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Euros? My face, just the beak. With your new popularity, do you need some freelance bodyguards? No. If Ms. Pandemic rejects my application to be her suitor, I may need to call on Miss Grunwald. A wise actor must adapt and adjust. Ready to film? Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear for some unknown reason. Use zeros? Reason. Uh, Didn't you receive I do. phone calls? Well, we have been busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. Break a leg. Or worse. What's going on here exactly? Oh, nothing special. Just the biggest episode of Germany's top-rated television show, that's all. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee? Not anymore. Didn't you get my phone messages? Midtown Cowboys is a surprise hit in Germany. What's the episode about? Where's all our money? <laughs> yeah. How do we get in on all this licensing money? You don't. You signed away all your rights to your image when you filmed the Chef Bessie episode. I don't remember signing anything. So that's what all that fine print said. Besides, I don't see you two as TV stars. <laughs> Start smaller, like with comic books or video games. Hmm, video games, that's an idea. What happened to the studio? What happened to all the other shows in this studio? I want to go on cooking without looking again. They've all been cancelled. The entire studio is devoted to Midtown Cowboys and its spin-offs now. Midtown Cowboys spin-offs? There are spin-offs of Midtown Cowboys? Naturally, Downtown Cowgirls, That's So Bessie, Midtown Cowboys Special Heifers Unit, and of course the Spe Spe Special Heifers Unit. I wish I knew how to quit watching that. <laughs> What's the episode about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's intervention episode. Sounds hilarious. This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right. Social issues, whatever. I'm talking about product placement. This is going to be pure gold. Yeah, hence the glove or whatever it was. Clove uh, cigarettes in the bag and that way that's the product placement. We're ready to start filming. It's about time. All right, people. Places, everyone. Let's make some money. Art. Let's make some art. Tonight, it, there's no a difference. Very special episode of Midtown Cowboys. Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I, I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it! I knew you were hiding a cow! That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies! Just look what you're doing to Bessie. We saw what's inside your bag. 
How do you explain this? Garlic clove Yo, smokes. Brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist a, a lung full of garlic flavored smoke? <laughs> they taste good, man. They're good for you. What a hard smart. That's not gonna be good for a vampire, though. Looks so cool. Let's buy some. Wow. Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. And that's a wrap. See that, boys? That is acting. Cool Germans say ya yeah to garlic clove cigarettes. See page two for details. <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. Are we leaving already? Let's go to Stuttgart. Or maybe not yet. Uh, let's go back to the let's office. Go back to the office. Similar to Banjo and Conquer humor. Kinda. Well, I like it though. She was the only woman I ever loved. This century, at least. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist. Actually, she was, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. Whatever. Your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you? Oh, a shark! With a, an, an exclamation mark. I think the sharks joined a gang. Wonder if it's the Jets or the, uh... You walked right into that one. Hmm... Oh, wait, what's this? Looks like an old That's new. Sunlamp. For turning yourself brown and leathery from the comfort of your own home. Brown and leathery? Uh... Because that would work well for uh, uh, a zombie. Or, uh, well, I guess, vampire. Zombies got you down. Zombies giving you much trouble, Stinky? If that is your real name. Oh, no. They're a nuisance, but at least they eat quickly and leave. Your <laughs> friend Lincoln is the real horror. Come on, give Abe a break. He's on the rebound. He keeps trying to pay me in Confederate money. Who does that? <laughs> Confederate that money. Makes sense. Have you heard from Grandpa? <laughs> so, have you heard from Grandpa Stinky lately? Like from beyond the grave? What are you talking about? Grandpa's still on his Himalayan mountain climbing junket. Thought Stinky was on a cruise. I thought you said Grandpa Stinky was on an around-the-world cruise. Let's watch as the spider tries to free herself from her own web of lies. Oh, he sent me a postcard. His cruise was hijacked by Sherpa terrorists. They ended it's up perfect making him sense. their god. Happens every other week. Following him on a quest to scale the world's tallest peaks. Well, her story does seem to hold up. I agree. <laughs> It was pretty nice of Grandpa Stinky to leave his entire restaurant empire to you. <laughs> Some empire? Zombies, deadbeat ex-presidents, trivia cheaters. Makes me wonder if it was worth the effort. If what was worth the effort? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's with a sun lamp woman who will call Stinky for the sake of convenience? <laughs> so that's what that is. Oh, I, I mean, of course, that's what that is. I have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unrealistic standard of beauty for grandpa murderers. <laughs> Can we have your sun lamp? Can we have your sun lamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. You think a smile this white comes naturally? Well, go ahead. I don't need... I mean, I'm done with it. Why do you have a sun lamp? What's a sun lamp doing in a restaurant? Did you think the food wasn't hazardous enough without the threat of melanoma? Oh, that. I was just going through some of the old things Stinky and Grandpa had in storage. I need a big box for packing things that need to be sent away. Bye. 
Well, let's take the lamp. I'll check on Abe. You want to help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. What's shaking, Abraham? I think there's an she extra picture gone. back there. Left me. Who's gone? Sybil! Of course she left you! She dumped you like yesterday's breakfast when she caught you macking on the Moai heads! I was sure it was just one of her moods. Come on, Abe. Take it like a man. Think of all the advantages of being single. Like what? Freedom. No obligations. Play the field. This isn't helping. Uh, freedom. <laughs> You've got total freedom. Complete lack of direction. You can do what you want, when you want. You answer to nobody. And nobody cares if you die. You can meet lots of new people. And have a never-ending string of shallow, unfulfilling encounters. We seem to be working at cross-purposes, Max. Maybe, but this way I get to annoy two people at once. <laughs> what do you know about zombies? Pests. Hooligans. Hey, there was that film, uh, Abraham Lincoln. With their million zombie zombie Slayer. What, what was the, 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 the title of that film again? That awful music they listen or to. Vampire Hunter. I've never watched it, but I know the title at least. Keep a stiff hair Vampire stiff Slayer or, or Hunter. It's one of the two. Yeah, it's something about vampires. Yeah. <laughs> I told myself I would watch it someday, but I have yet to do so. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera. Swear Dweller? Sword Wielder! No, that would be Swirled Wielder, not Swirled Wielder. George Romero. George Romero or it's Steve not very Romero. good. Ah, oh, well, shame. Based on the putrefied flesh, I'd have to say John Romero. That's a shame. I thought it would be like a uh, funny on purpose, you know, with a title like that. <laughs> I thought I'd have a good laugh at least. <clears throat> uh, exit door. Where are we headed, Sam? To Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. -da 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 -da. Whee! As I remember, they tried to be kind of serious. It's very dark and such. That's my memories of it. Mm. This episode, yeah, there's five episodes, and this is the third. This episode, I think I should be able to finish it today. But the game itself, tomorrow night, maybe? Or the night after. Not so cool now, are you, Master Jürgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style, am I right? Okay, so now we're smoking these, uh... Garlic cigarettes. <laughs> Ready to drop some fat beets or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. Mm. Letters. Letters. Mm. Letters. Letters. Razors. Sepulchre, Desire, Sub-Zero. <laughs> Sounds like something from Mortal Kombat. Misery, Death, Death. Pure Energy, Parents, Parents. Torment. Torment, Embrace, Abyss, Pain. Blood. Succubus. Hmm. Succubus, you don't say. Parents, the horror. <laughs> yeah, this is horrifying. Death. 
sepulchre. Uh, Embrace. Hold on, hold on. Letters. Because this is a password. Sub Zero. <laughs> it does sound like the voice for Mortal Kombat. I can't see a thing. Is that your hand? Oops, sorry, little buddy. Ah, uh, there's a spotlight. For the zombies dance for. Yeah, yeah, probably. Let's burn the zombies. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine it being hot. <laughs> Okay, the sun lamp well, it is in there now. Mind the swinging razor sharp pendulum. What razor sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? <laughs> okay, now th I need to do something about the lamps. And my latest dance is called the inconsolable Nephilim. Check it. Ah! Oh, 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 it burns. <laughs> oh, lady. It's okay. No problem. They're still cool. No. No. Ha -ha. Who's the master now, Master Jorgen? Your attempts to discredit me will not work. My Z boys still got my back. No. No. Uh Okay, I'm not done. There's still something I need to do for the third part. Something about the rhymes. We're not leaving, are we? Let's go home. Yeah, let's head back home. There is holy water in the office. And since I happen to have bottled water, it's the place where High Priest Max takes his holy baths. Oh, I'm pretty sure I get where they are trying to go. <laughs> Malt liquor? Where did I get that again? Was it with the whole rhymes thing? Beer Stein? So, the zombies drink beer. A clue, perhaps? Let's press on. Oh. Oh, by the way, what are the bad news? So what's the bad news? Man, Worst news. Behind you. <gasps> Zombies! <laughs> All you can drink water buffet. Mm. Where are we headed, Sam? Return to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Max, where are you? Okay. Drink up, pal. Mmm. Tastes like righteousness. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. That's why I had to have him drink it.
But the first season of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. <laughs> hey, Jorgen. Meow. What's your source of power again? Let's rhyme, sucker. Max and I want to challenge you again. We'll prove we got the bleakest rhymes. What's with the banjo? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My name is, um... Count Cripwine Deathgrasp. Crip Count Deathgrasp. Deathgrasp. And I'm, uh... Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. <laughs> Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? Uh, <laughs> we'll knock you out better than Bella Lugosi. Uh, this one's good. We're taking over your house like we're Nancy Pelosi. We're rocking Sundance like we're Parker Posey. We like our breakfast nook because it's sunny and cozy. Uh, Bella Lugosi. Okay. Because we're the good guys. H E the R O. H E to the R O. And we kick it old school like Pop Rocks and Charo. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. This one sounds good. Uh, we build technology for a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> Our world is endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Nah. Because you're flabby and pink like a salmon filet. Because our banter is snappy like a David Mamet play. What's it? Who's David Ma Ma Mamet? Mamet. Because we're stupid and loud like a film like by Michael Bay. Yeah, it kind kind of is true. Because all creation ends in death and decay. Yeah, it's the, uh, the obvious one that you have to pick. all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. We children of the night. Yeah. 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 What? what? You have managed to impress my brainless zombies. No matter. I will still defeat you most easily. But first, an energy drink. Hey, no fair. But ah, to taste the blood of one who believes he has beaten me. <laughs> it is yeah, but energizing. The holy water. Drag me to hell, the scarred arms. Uh oh. Time down below. Very soon, need release. Excuse a moment. Can't hold your holy water, Jurgen. You dare defile my. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Was gruesome. Mm. Oh, that is the very last of the straws. I don't care. <laughs> I did not become the prince of darkness just to make the friends. To make the to make the friends. I will destroy you, Samund Max. Even met out the stupid zombies. Who needs them anyway? <laughs> Zombie pile on you again. <laughs> Oh! Save some of the entrails for me, guys! We're not through yet, pal. After him. Oh, okay, if you leave them be, they just start dancing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't pay attention earlier. After him. I don't care if those dumb zombies like me anyway. They're so stupid. Stand back, foul creature. We come to cast you back into the unholy pit from whence you were spawned. What he said? Oh, heard it. I should have disposed of you irritants long ago. Now, <laughs> your two souls will fulfill my unholy contract, and I will make the entire earth my non-stop house party of evil. And then there was the most epic battle of our entire career. Yeah, yeah, I remember the rest. So, what do we do now? Auf Wiedersehen, Sham und Max. <laughs> Gee, I got so wrapped up in the story, I forgot to think of a plan. We could make... Oh, no! Uh, Rise Resident Evil's reference. Unpleasant. <laughs> that 
jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his. Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We, suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max, we've turned to zombies. Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. <laughs> Zombie Lincoln? Zombie Abraham Lincoln? What are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. <laughs> that's that's where he got killed, isn't it? In the theater. And he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. Do I know you? We're Sam and Max. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. Never heard of you. You must know us. You know us, Abe. Yeah, it was. Elections, thrilling car chases, adventures on the moon, Easter Island. Ruining your reputation, hitting you with a missile, making you throw up, pointing and laughing when your girlfriend dumped you. Ridiculous, all of it. Wait, is this one of those hidden zoetrope programs? How'd you get here? How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. How are you enjoying the play, Mr. Lincoln? <laughs> How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's ripping. But I was disappointed that Booth fellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor, and I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony. Wanna know how the play ends? You might not be able to catch the rest <clears throat> of that play, Mr. Lincoln. Wanna know how it ends? No, no, don't tell me. Spoilers. The villain was Hugh Bliss. <laughs> Germs destroy the Martians. You see the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> you get shot and turn into one of the Walking Dead. Yeah, you see the Statue of Liberty. You did it! You blew it up! <laughs> see the Statue of Liberty and realize you were on Earth the whole time. Well, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I don't know why I let Mary keep dragging me to these things. Watch your back. What? Why? <laughs> Watch your back. Hey! Abraham Lincoln went in. <laughs> Where was I? Sitting. Flint paper. Excuse me. Eight bullets, chumps. Hey, no. <laughs> oh. I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. All right, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? <laughs> Hi, Flint. Uh, no, not you guys, too. Hate to do this, fellas. But Sam and Max always said they'd rather die than become one of those things. I don't remember ever saying that. Did you, Max? Nah, I'm pretty sure he was making that part up. Well, they're already dead, so... <laughs> Great, they're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one. Come to Papa. Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Jurgen's Monster. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Brooding is more fun when you do it with a pal. These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Mm. Batteries. Bolt cutters. Looks like a delicate piece of high precision medical equipment. <laughs> Hey, reclining Jurgen. Here we have a vampire in his natural habitat. Mm. 
It looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Mm. It looks like a painting Abyss of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Pain. It looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jorgen. How do you like your steak, Max? Pointy. Mm, this is the exit. Jurgen's coffin. Yeah, it's something about the words, I think, in the painting. Raz Abyss, razors, pain, parents. Abyss, razors, pain, parents. How horrific! Parents! Abyss, razors, pain, parents. Abyss, razors, pain, parents. Razors Pain Pain And parents was uh Here Parents Aha Look Sam I did not expect that thing over there to open I did Nice why is the floor so sticky? There's not a single possible answer to that question that I like. <laughs> Came from behind. Let's go, little buddy. Hey, Flint tastes like cigarettes and cheap scotch. I don't think he's my hero anymore. You're only saying that because you don't have a soul, Max. Let's hurry and get it back. I don't like myself like this. Yeah, you need to find parts for the for the creature or whatever, I think. He needs a brain and a few other things. That's what it was. Let's have a better look at the thing. Can I already put the, the brain in? It is at times like these when a monster is driven to consider his place in history. Are we not all but misshapen combinations of flesh and feelings? Yeah, it's missing a hand. Souls? Yeah, okay, we get it. Monst Monster's missing a hand. Mm-hmm. And then uh, a heart. Heartless. <laughs> you heartless monster. <laughs> why not? I mean, why not? I can't wait to see him floss with that. I can't wait to see him floss with that. And a cauliflower for a heart. Listen, brothers, can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? <laughs> Egg beater, <laughs> feather duster. I can't wait to see him floss with that. Artichoke heart. Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? <laughs> oh, heart of stone? Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to Where do you think you get the heart in hand? The hand, it's the hand of Jesse James that the zombie stole at the beginning of the episode. Uh, the heart, I can't quite recall, but we'll see. Uh, artichoke heart, uh, cauliflower, well, I don't have the, the necessary things right now, so I need to go back. Ann Coulter, A Life, the Dorian Gray photo album, blood types from A to Z. And Coulter, a life. Oh, okay, there was only three. There were only three, sorry. Go to the exit. Need to find the zombie with the hand of Jesse James. Are 
Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Ha! Huh. Yeah, let's head back home. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, there it is. Assuming we can grab it. Come back here, you stupid hand. Ah, well, it's... It, it went into stinkies. Darn it, he's too fast. But it's the hand of Jesse James after all. Can you walk in there? No. Uh. Hmm. Oh wait, it moves away. Yeah, but it's right outside the screen. Because I need it to be right at the edge of the screen. I, yeah, I think I can still get it from here. Something. Help! Someone help! Uh, I guess it can't wait. Um, Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Does people not zombie hear them groaning and not talking? It's possible, actually. What? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you were right, actually. <laughs> I'll take that, Mr. James. Theory confirmed. It's Stinky's Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. Tar Cake. It's just a pie. It's not something you really talk about. It's just a pie. Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. Can you talk to her again? What would happen? We don't serve zombies in here. Do you have any idea how expensive brains are? <laughs> Oh, great. Zombies. As if my day couldn't get any worse. Exit door. I would imagine brains would be expensive. Yeah. I mean, if they have to be human brains, they're not exactly easy to come by, I suppose. Oh, hey. Guys. Yeah, whatever. So, I think I've narrowed it down to two guys. But I'm still not quite sure. You didn't meet any cool guys out there, did you? Hmm. I'm looking for my soulmate. I've got the initial screening, and then rigorous interviews, and finally... The soul mater. <laughs> Not sure. I won it in an online auction, and the instructions are all in Sanskrit. Something about ripping souls from across the plains to reunite them with corruptible mortal vessels. 
Doesn't that sound romantic? I could just die. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm interested. If you know anybody? Anybody else, of course. Send him my way. Oh, the the zombie itself? Yeah, I'm not sure. But maybe I need to send him the zombie. The 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 Frank the sort of the creature of Frankenstein or whatever if you know what I mean. Those aren't your gifts. Abraham zombie? I don't know. He what seems kind of dead dead for now. <laughs> no. No. Think positive. I already tried that. Try, think again for the very first time. Don't touch that sign. I like how she pins her notes to her cactus. A ticket dispenser. Please, not the tickets. What's with this guy? Oh, uh, whatever. Mm. Uh, back to Stuttgart. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. He doesn't want the zombie Germans, maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Whee! Creature is over there. It's like right now in real life. <sighs> Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh. We mock death. We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe. Mm. It lives. Our creation lives. Happy birthday. He's almost a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mariachi appearing every time someone says birthday. <laughs> Hi, gruesome. You're not Master Jurgen. Who are you? Prismatologists, zombie ninja, monkey pirates, a mob of angry villagers. Uh. We're from the Church of Prismatology. Offering a completely free session to test your bliss level with our patented blissometers. This well, is a reference to the first very season. Blissful in this dungeon. Leave the science to the professionals, pal. Now bend over. <laughs> We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Tell me about it. Say antipasto. What's the problem? Hey, monster. What's the Italian word for an appetizer? Antipasto. <laughs> hey, monster. What do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. Hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm. Coalinga? <laughs> Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope. Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? 
Monsters are awesome. What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am alone. Sybil is you a monster. Please kill me. What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff or are you mostly decorative? Master Jurgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. <laughs> Jurgen's a creep. Nah, we've got the perfect bride. That reminds me, someone from my math course was in contact with someone who was tested positive, and if she tests positive, then I have to be tested. Oh. ready to go, right out of the box. No assembly required. I certainly hope you didn't catch anything. Two of my friends have it right now, but I haven't been in contact with them in weeks, so... Not in direct contact, anyway. So, I don't need to be tested because I haven't been close to them since they... Since several weeks before they were diagnosed with it, and they started showing signs. Go meet our friend Sybil. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go? Well, at now? least you'll know. Like, say maybe you have it, but you don't have any symptoms or anything because the virus doesn't do anything to you, but you might still give it to others, I don't know. Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam mm. gets distracted and. Oh, more switches! Well. I never travel without my belongings. Yep. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. <laughs> They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? Mm. The... what was that? Oh, it's uh, an intelligible. Oh, good call, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with words. He always just knew the right thing to say. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Would we be lounging by a fireplace? Because uh, I don't like fire. I'll make a note of that. And Bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Bachelor number three, same question. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Hmm. Oh, what he's thinking? Well, that's a good question. Mm. Hmm. Well, I think that the winged emancipator put it best in issue 237 of the original series, of course, when he said... Yeah, I've heard enough. Thanks. Those aren't your... Ah, uh, I, I got it. I got it, I got it. I still can't... Bachelor number one. You... I'll make a note. Bachelor... Yeah, while, he's th no, while he thinks he's not paying bachelor attention to what I'm doing, so I can pick answer? the chocolate heart. What you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting what? creature! What? What? Oh, okay, this is his answer. I expected better from you, Harry. Ah, so now... Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, he's gonna be get thrown out, and now I can zombies. pick it. Your anti-zombie talk isn't making things any better. 
I think you'd better go. Well, this is kind of cruel. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> holding the door. Short notice, Agent a Super Ball, was it? <laughs> You're looking radiant. <laughs> oh boy, these two together. <laughs> anyway, let's get the chocolate heart now. Sweet. It is sweet. Well, now we have a heart, we have a hand. Don't leave without me. I get home thick. Relax. Home thick. If we go back to Stuttgart, we'll give you a ride. But you have to wait in the trunk. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Well, I, I s home thick, thick. <laughs> I need her a soul mater. Quantum mechanics. So I still need to get her to be with this guy, but I guess I need to complete the guy first. Soul sucker. <laughs> it's the machine that removed our souls from our bodies. There's a television here. <laughs> Hi, gruesome. Uh. Yeah. Farewell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Body parts. Wanna play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. Uh... Okay, he's got the right hand. And the chocolate oh, heart. I love you, Sam and Max. Oh, come here and give me a super big best friend's hug. Oh, take it out, take it out. <laughs> Let's go see Sybil. Hi, gruesome. Let's go to Sybil's again. It seems we just got here. Are you sure? Let's go. Yes, let's go right now. Oh, we're here already. Good idea, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. My last boyfriend was a real jerk. I'm looking for a man who's kind, upstanding, good to everyone, and never cruel. Prove to me <clears throat> you've got a heart of gold. I love you the best. Come here and let me give you a monster hug. Maybe later. Same question, Bachelor number two. I am, as you know, the go-to performer for troubled characters with a heart of gold. Landlords, lawmen, gangsters, nuns, hookers, and pimps, I've played them all. Big phony. Got it. And Bachelor <laughs> number three. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. I live according to the writings of my teacher and prophet. Who's that? Jim Morrison. <laughs> Questions. Ask all question right. number two. Bachelor number one. He's got all I'm the right ingredients now. A man who's good with his hands. Oh. How good are you with yours? What are you doing? It's the only way I know how to express my feelings, ma'am. I love Sybil. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, she's not gonna ask the others? <laughs> okay, bachelor number one. My last boyfriend always knew the right thing to say. What sweet things would He has the brain of Abraham Lincoln, so... Well, it is altogether fitting and proper that I answer your question. But in a larger sense, our love would be so pure. 
so harmonious, so rapturous, that my mere words could do little to add or detract. Miss Pandemic? Marry me? Oh, I mean, yes, Bachelor One. That's perfectly adequate. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, so, uh, now, can I take it? Do you mind? I know, Sam. I'll use it once I've narrowed it down to one final. Haven't you just done that? <laughs> right. I His heart is sweet, but not of gold. Hmm. Well, you're right. Uh. Hmm. Don't leave. Yeah, there's something I haven't done then. You have to wait in the trunk. Have to go back to Stuttgart. Wow, the cops no, 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 no! Don't, don't do that. Where we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Well, actually, do I need to leave it on? Because I haven't used it for anything yet. Cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense. I was wondering what the bolt cutters were for. Yeah, probably need to use this for something. I need to look around the lab again. I probably have to take the shock chocolate heart out. And find a way to turn it into gold, you're right. Alchemy machine? It's to turn yeah, something in gold, right? To the Fortean times that that's an alchemy machine. Never die Never batteries. Die batteries. They're, dead. <laughs> They're dead. If I can attract the... Aren't they gonna get charged up by the... Lightning. Ah. Dangerous. The best kind of neat. Okay. That gave it enough juice. All right. We need the heart. He's the only one here with a heart. Listen, brothers. Does that mean the chocolate heart is back? Yes. Okay. It's back in my inventory. Well, I thought a heart of chocolate was good enough. <laughs> I didn't think a heart of gold quite literally. Seems like a waste of good chocolate. All right. Now he's a perfect stud. Isn't he? <laughs> Get me my checkbook quick. I need to give to charity. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's got the brain, the heart, and the hand now. Uh... Let's go to Sybil. Let's go to Sybil's again. Okay, for the third now time, move. but perfect zombie man. <laughs> yes, let's go right now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I still can't decide which. Qu I still. Yeah, yeah. Question number one. Okay, bachelor number one. I'm looking for a man with a heart of gold. Do I s have to re-ask the you've got one. second What's and that? third question? I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted. See, I used your restroom earlier, and I'm worried I might not have remembered to leave the seat down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. <laughs> I think I've heard enough. Well, <laughs> I think the choice is clear. <gasps> That's all That's she needs to hear. One. Would you... Like to go steady? 
at last I feel complete. Preposterous. Please, no cameras. I need a moment. Ah, don't die After on me, stream. Years of searching, That's what matters. <laughs> perfect man. That's what matters yeah. most. <laughs> what? Oh, of course you're right, Max. This has all been a lie. <laughs> In my heart, I've always known who my true soulmate is. I just never wanted to admit it. What? I've been so stubborn and foolish. I only hope he'll take me back. Oh. That's a lot, jerks. Yeah, all of that just for that. Weekend in Cabo San Lucas is out of the question as well. Well, that was a waste of time. Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's from an, an American TV show thingy where they do that at the end. But I've forgotten what the what the title of the thing is. I guess Sybil won't be needing this anymore. I, uh, I've seen a reference to it in the film, and that's how I know about it because it's an old thing that's not even on TV anymore. I've forgotten the name. But anyway, well, it was an obscure reference. It's, uh... Oh, what, what, what's the name of that TV show again? Hold on. Uh, let, let me l look it up very br very briefly. Uh, I know it's referenced in Beverly Hills Cops too. so I, if I try to find the, the reference... Uh... Uh... It's kind of a, 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 a TV show about uh, pu putting people in couples or something, for forming couples. Uh, the Dating Game. Yeah, there we go. That's a reference to The Dating Game. TV show. And I suppose in that TV show they do that thing where they kiss at the camera, that, and so that's a reference to that, I suppose. Where are we headed, Sam? I couldn't remember the title. I don't. I suppose it was on TV during the what the 1980s or something. So it's. I suppose it's not on TV anymore. Let's go to Stuttgart. We don't get American TV here, so I only know it because I've heard of it. Uh, did I take the thing that was on the desk or not? Because I was thinking of uh, of this, but yeah, yeah, I did get it. Did you ever figure out how that thing works, Sam? There must be a button or a switch. The hell? What gives? Ooh, neat. I guess there's no switch. I wouldn't say that. Did everybody get tall and chubby all of a sudden? Hey, give my stuff back. Ah, so there's where you keep your gun. <laughs> ah, Simon Max. You keep returning when you know you cannot defeat me. That's Max and Sam. No matter. I will take your souls once again, but this time your bodies will be... Obliterated! What? Obliterated. You know, cut off your head, set them on fire, salt the earth. Oh, nothing doing. You're gonna regret you ever tangled with me and Max. I mean, Sam. As your Americans say, not all. Uh. I was wondering where my, where my pointer was. Monster, think fast. Okay. It's Jurgen's soul sucking machine. Goodbye. Well, 
Well, this is a step up at least. It's too crowded in here. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, I don't have my stake anymore. I need to get another. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one, I suppose. Coming at ya! Is he trying to do the karate kid thing? The crane kick or something? What's up, Flint? You know, I've been tailing that Bosco mug, right? Well, the trail's gone colder than a Dear John letter written on No Tell Motel stationery. Bosco's just loud and easily startled. We'll help you dig him up. That's the rub, see? Bosco's vanished off the face of the earth! <gasps> no! Bosco! Well, that's quite a sad ending, I suppose. <laughs> well, there's two episodes left of this. If all goes well, I may be done with it tomorrow. We'll see. No, Bosco! Don't go! <laughs> I like the stylized thing here in pure orange and black. <clears throat> Maybe I should stream the very first Sam and Max game someday too. It's quite old school, but it was quite funny as well. It's more puzzle oriented though. More complicated as well, the way I remember it. I like that the music changes from how the episodes were. Yep. Yeah, it's not the same all the uh, every time. The color changes as well, I think. Yep. They were... This was released episodically when this first came out. Like one, one episode, like every month or something for five months. So that's why there's a credits thing at the end of, of each episode. There is a new Summon Max game coming out next year from what I've heard. And they're releasing a remaster of the first season on Switch. Uh, next month, I think? From what I've heard, they've only obtained the the license for the first season. So if they don't release subsequent seasons, it's... Stinky's voice is Melissa Hutchison. She's the voice of a... Uh, the heroine of The Walking Dead. Uh, come on, I only know her name. <laughs> Damn it, why do I have a me memory blank right now? Come on, Rudy. Clementine, yeah. So the voice actress of Clementine is the voice of Stinky. I did not recognize it. I should pay more attention next time. 
Well, it's a Telltale game. It's by the same developer, so I guess it makes sense. They often re-employ the same people, but... Well, there you go. Uh, the Switch version? I don't think so, no. I already have Season 1, so... And I will not be the person reviewing it, because I heard that this was coming, because one of my colleagues was requesting it for review. Otherwise, I would have done so. <laughs> Being a fan of Sam and Max, maybe the only one on the, t on the team, or at least so I thought. <laughs> I would have tried to get it for free, since this will probably not be coming out physically. Unless it does, then I guess maybe I would. Maybe. But I've already streamed Season 1 in the past. That's why I, I was streaming Season 2 now. There's still a Season 3 that I could still play. After this. Well, not right after this, but in the not-so-distant future. Oh, I guess this one came out in January of 2008. Yeah, the first episode was November, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the ah. President of the United States. Ah, yeah, wait. There's a post-credit thing. <laughs> Let him have his soul back. Well, I guess he will get it back uh, in between the episodes or in the next episode. There we go. Okay. Okay, guys, that's going to be all from me for today, then. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the end of this, well, don't forget to tune in tomorrow night around the same time as today. Thanks, Panda. You're welcome, Monica. Take care of yourself, please. Please don't have COVID. I know it's out of your hands now, but please don't. <laughs> that, would be, that would be good if you didn't have it. And take care of yourself. You guys have a good night. See you tomorrow if you can make it. Bye-bye.